Hello folks, so if you saw my previous video, I have a new telescope, it's the Explorer Scientific AR-152 and I admit I'm kind of spoiled. I need to be able to control everything um, comfortably from inside the house, so I've been waiting for one more piece to the puzzle and this is it, it's my Moonlight Electronic Focuser, so um, hopefully everything works and I'll, I'll test it out today, although I don't think I'm going to get any clear skies anytime soon now. I kind of passed a few by. Well, I just took it out of the box. This thing is so big and heavy, it scares me. <laughs> My poor AVX mount. I don't know how it's going to survive under that huge scope and this heavy-duty focuser. So, we'll see. Okay, so here's the old focuser that I'm going to replace, and it looks like it's just held on by a few screws here and I can just get them off with my Allen wrench. So I got it off with those three screws and it's definitely lighter than my Moonlight Focuser, so I'll be adding on a few pounds. Okay, so I've screwed on the new Focuser and that was not as easy as it seemed. It seems like the, uh, the screws are not really a match that come with the scope. Once you take them off, they're hard to get back in and it looked like the underlying tape that you might have seen earlier, a band of tape that was going around the scope, actually might have helped with the threading, which is not really a good solution for keeping in the screws. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to find better screws or if I should get some Loctite or if I need to re-thread the scope. I'm not sure, but I know this scope was not brand new when I bought it, so uh, maybe that's one of the issues. Hey, it started pouring on me when I was out there, so I promise the next time you see me with this scope, I'll have some pictures to show you. That's all I got for now, folks. I'll see you later.